to Clarinet HQ. So it's time for another episode of Traveling Clarinets. Uh, so let's see what time and place in history we're going to today. Do you have your trademarked teleportation button? I That's have right. it right here. No one can steal State this bad State of the boy. art Clarinet HQ technology patent pending. Oh right, patent yeah. pending. Okay. Ready? Yes. Whoa! Okay, let's see. We, it looks like we're in Germany, and I think it's Leipzig, because I am a map. <laughs> you know, I think you're right, because look at the building behind us. Uh, so that's the Mendelssohn Museum. Uh, so we must be here to talk about Felix Mendelssohn. Uh, he and his sister Fanny were really famous uh, composers and pianists from the Romantic era. You know, I smell something. It's not you, because huh. it smells good. It smells kind of familiar. I do smell it. That smells really good. Yeah. Um, but before we get distracted by that, uh, come with me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, back in the Romantic era, artists of all kinds, musicians, painters, uh, writers, they traveled in the same circles. They knew the same people, they hung out, they, many of them were friends, and they kind of took inspiration from one another's work. Let so, me see. Okay, I know who that guy is. That's Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, and he was a big deal. Um, he wrote a lot of stories and poetry that a ton of composers took as inspiration, and they wrote music off of them. All right, but that's not the collaboration we're talking about today. So we're talking about a collaboration between Mendelssohn, Felix Mendelssohn, the guy playing piano over there, and the clarinetist Heinrich Behrmann and his son Carl. That explains the smell! Oh, it's time for some Dampf noodle. Okay, so the reason we're in front of this dumpling shop, it, oh, sorry, is because, so, um, so the Behrmanns and Mendelssohn were really good friends, and they would frequently get together and spend time together. And there was one night when Mendelssohn told them that he had an idea. So he suggested, while well, the Behrmans, who were known for being really good cooks, while they cooked a really good meal, Mendelssohn would compose a piece for the three of them to play, so for two clarinets and piano. Um, and it ended up working out because they had a great time together, and what they got to eat was super tasty. So uh, the dumplings that, the, that Heinrich and Karl Behrmann made are called Dampfnudel in German. Uh, and Mendelssohn obviously had a good time writing the piece. You know, these were friends hanging out. So he originally jokingly titled the piece Grand Duet for Steamed Dumplings and Sweet Cheese Strudel. Uh, I'd eat that. Yeah, I kind of wish he had kept that as the I know, title. that would have been yeah. really fun. Uh, but we know the piece today as the concert piece number one in F minor. So it, they really must have enjoyed it because Mendelssohn wrote a second concert piece a few weeks later. Um, but can we finish talking about this somewhere else because I'm getting really hungry. Yeah, this, this smells really good. Yeah, it's kind uh, of distracting. We could totally go in here, but right. we, we shouldn't. No, yeah. not today. Um, I'll race you. Okay. All right, uh, so anyway, this should be better. Uh, this is the University of Music and Theater in Leipzig, the music school founded by Mendelssohn. Oh, so this, yeah, you're right, much better place to be. Um, before we get back home, we should probably say something about basset horn. Yes, I love the basset horn. Me too. Um, so Carl Behrman uh, played an instrument called the basset horn. It's kind of in between soprano clarinet and bass clarinet. So lower than soprano clarinet, higher than bass clarinet. 
Uh, if you've ever seen an alto clarinet, it's very similar, mm -hmm. except alto clarinet is pitched in E flat and basset horn in F. Right, and so Mendelssohn originally wrote the concert pieces for clarinet and basset horn, but there isn't much music that's performed nowadays that uses the basset horn. Um, and so not many people own one, but most of the time you'll hear it performed by, uh, you'll hear the concert pieces performed by two soprano clarinets. And soprano clarinets are what you call like our regular B flat clarinets. Yeah, uh, so our plan when, not if, when we win the lottery, oh. we're gonna buy a couple basset horns. Yeah, they're like second or third on the list, yeah. but it'll happen. I think. Anyway. Um, so we should probably get back because yeah, I, I have a Dom Fnuel recipe I want to try. Yes. Uh, hold on. I think I left my teleport button. At the Dom Fnuel yeah. shop? Yeah. I'll, I'll be really quick. Just going to get a quick snack. Whatever. I hope he brings me some. He gets distracted easily. So. Here we are. Time to teleport back home. Thank goodness we can get back home. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. All right. right. Well, uh, thanks for joining us for another traveling clarinets. Happy practicing.